Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Bill, and I'm back with another episode. Episode 30. Black Lives Matter want to sit at the table, ladies and gentlemen. They want to sit at the table, man. Um, Patrice Colors. Uh, I spoke about her last video um she sent a letter to joe biden and kamala harris's uh team re requesting an urgent meeting hmm. um i'm just gonna keep it short and sweet when it comes to the article she's basically basically she was saying that her organization, Black Lives Matter, is the reason why um, Joe, Biden, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris won the election. Basically, she said the black turnout was the reason why they had the results that they had in the election, even though the election needs to be... Um, a lot of states need to be recounted. They are already um, filed for recount. Regardless if they give them to Biden right now, um, they still need to go through recount. They still need to go through the court. Um, everything will be decided in December. I think like December 12th or something like that. Some, something like that. Uh, but Black Lives Matter co-founder is requesting a meeting, a seat at the table with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Because again, they claim that their outreach to black Americans was the reason why they got the results that they got from their election, uh, the election. Um, basically, me being on social media and me w witnessing a lot of black people post that black America saved America or black people saved America so forth and so on blah they blah whatever whatever black Americans really think they saved America the only thing you saved was white supremacy that's the only thing y'all saved y'all saved white y'all think y'all saved America y'all can't even save your own communities how are you gonna save America and you can't even save your own community? That That's just, it don't make sense. It, it, it does not make sense. So for y'all to be hooping and hollering and raving about two white people getting in office or you replacing Trump with two more white people, um, did you really win? And my whole thing is, it's, it's like, how can you request something after already giving up your vote? You claimed you, you claimed you and black people or Black Lives Matter was the reason, uh, the reason uh, was the reason behind black people organizing and voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. But then you're going to turn around and you're going to request or demand a meeting or demand something out of the party or the people that you already done voted for. Isn't that ass backwards? Isn't that ass backwards? Please comment below and tell me that I'm tripping because... Didn't Ice Cube try to do the same thing before the election kicked off? Didn't Ice Cube go to Trump's administration and then went to the went to Biden's campaign? Spoke with both parties. Actually got something tangible for black people. For black people. From the Trump administration. And if you don't know what that uh what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and look up what was supposed to be the platinum plan or what may still be the platinum plan 
after December, I think, 12th. And now you go to Joe Biden's camp. They talk about a lift every voice plan or some shit like that. Act or whatever. Hints, lift every voice. Last time I checked it out, it was including people of color. Now, if Joe Biden is actually president and that plan do go through, I guarantee you black people will, won't receive shit or will barely receive anything in that in their administration. They already prioritized les the lesbian gay community, the LGBTQ plus community. in regards of being the first to receive some something out of their uh, supposed to be administration, or supposedly administration. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm tripping because you're trying to do the same thing Ice Cube was doing but after you didn't already gave up your vote. So basically, let's use this as an example. So basically, you went to Best Buy. You bought a PS5 for $500. And then after making that purchase, you tried to negotiate the price. Does that make sense? That's exactly what you're doing, Miss Patrice. Colors. If that's your last name. Doesn't matter to me. I don't give a shit. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Why would you try to negotiate after giving up your vote? You really think they gonna give you something in return? Matter of fact, didn't you already get something in return? Didn't you already get a television deal with Warner Brothers? Didn't you already ink a deal? You already won. What else are you looking for? Because. For the most part, this is what I think is going to happen. If they even entertain that letter that you sent them, because apparently they might have received it, they might might haven't received it because they didn't respond to you. Even if they do call you in for a meeting, the only person that's getting something out of that shit is either you, those three other les those two other lesbian chicks, and Black Lives Matter, the organization. He was talking about how the Biden administration or the Biden campaign or whatever you want to call them right now because it's still up in the air. He was talking about how they need to link up with more grassroots organizations, organizers. You're not even a grassroots organizer. You're not even a grassroots organization. You're receiving millions from fucking George Soros. Y'all already done been purchased. George Soros is already labeled as one of the top Democratic donors. You're not a grassroots organization, so by default, you're already excluded. And we, we really got people, black people out here acting like they saved America. You didn't save shit. You just preserved white supremacy. You talking about maybe they can correct the missteps that they had in the past. If they didn't correct them already before getting in office to prove that they were serious about fixing the problems that they already caused would make you think they're going to do it in office. And that's that it is zero fucking logic behind that shit. It makes zero sense. Black people were was was up fucking ice cubes ass for meeting with Donald Trump. Called him all types of coons and everything. Y'all got mad at this man for sitting there hearing both sides of the motherfucking both both sides 
listening to both sides. I was about to say uh, listening to both sides of the story, but still, listening to both sides, y'all got mad at Ice Cube for even entertaining the fact that there was a platinum plan issued to black America. At least the Trump administration reacted and gave you something for black people. Not for people of color, but for black people. But then you turn around and you do the same thing. But after you didn't already gave up the ass, that's like a chick, that's like a chick preparing to go on a date. And then getting fucked in the car before y'all go on the date. You giving up the draws on the first night. Before y'all even go on the date. Before you even get to know the motherfucker, you just fucking them in the car. That's basically what it is. It does. It don't make any sense. It really don't. And you really expect them to give you a seat at the table. If they even do give you a seat at the table, it's going to be a placebo win. It ain't going to matter. It ain't really going to affect us. It's not going to really change our dynamic. It's not going to do shit. And I've already said, if Biden really do get in office, Black Lives Matter will be irrelevant for four years. If he go, if Kamala Harris goes for re-election, might be, might even be eight because a lot of those police shootings, uh, police brutality, rate or uh, racial issues, all of that shit is gonna get swept up under the rug because they're trying to push so-called equality or unity or whatever the fuck they're trying to push. All of that shit is gonna get swept up under the rug. You ain't gonna hear shit about it. And that's why it's, it just don't make any sense. Like, we should be hip to the game by now. Black, black Lives Matter ain't even for black people. The ma majority of the people that were out there protesting were white. White liberals out there protesting. You saw more white people than black people out there protesting. Yeah. Already in been bamboozled, bro. Already been bamboozled. You already didn't gave up your vote. They don't have to do shit for you. They already said LGBTQ is the top of their priority. Immigrants might right might be right after them. Niggas at the bottom of the totem pole again, giving up ass. Just gave up ass. Just so you could feel good. Just so your voice can be heard. Your voice wasn't fucking heard. If your voice was heard, they would have offered you something before you even voted to solidify your fucking vote. At least they could have faked this shit. They didn't even give you nothing. They didn't even give you a pump fake. Nigga, you fell for the hezzy already. And I, I'm, I'm going to stand by what I said before. I'm going to stand by what Joe Biden alluded to. Niggas are politically ignorant. When it comes to politics, we are dumb as fuck. Dumb. Dumb as hell. Thank you for tapping into the Fake Wolf Podcast.